What is up everyone? Today we're going to learn how to make a custom coaster similar to this. This is something really easy, shouldn't take more than five minutes, and you'll just see the different uh, creations, shapes, sizes, words, fonts, whatever you want to put into it, um, you know, just how easy it is to do it. But as you can see, I mean, it's it's very basic. This is just a circle. It has a little lip coming up. Uh, there's my last name. There is my hometown, Saville, New York, if you know it or not. Uh, but this is very simple to make. And let's dive right in. So you're going to have a new project. Um, and pretty much with that, I like to work on the top plane. Uh, so what you're going to do is hit create new sketch. And here you go. You're going to select the top plane, right? So if you are at this and you see the three, you just want to hit the bottom one, which is on the green and red, which is the X and Y axis. So you click on that. And now we're going to go over to our shapes. If you want a square coaster, go for it. If you want a circle one, but I mean, we should all know how to make a shape. So I'm going to click on circle. I'm going to go right in the middle here. Okay. And exactly what size way I think, what kind of cups are you going to have, right? You don't want something that might be able to fit a mug, uh, but you don't want to take up too much room. So I do four inches. So I'm just going to type in four I N for four inches and hit enter. And there's my circle. This is the base for the coaster. You can go and measure your cups. Uh, you could have it maybe three and a half inches if you want it smaller uh, to save on material. But whatever it might be, we have our circle. The very next thing you want to do is we want to go to, let's see if I can find it, offset. Offset, which is O. I'm just so used to all the hotkeys, but if you don't have the hotkey, it is modify. We're under sketch. It's modify offset O. And what you want to do is click on the perimeter of it. Now, how much you want to offset? Again, that's completely up to you. I'm going to do four millimeters. So I just need to type in four. Make sure the red is on the outside and not on the inside. If the red line is on the inside, you just have to negate it. Type in negative four and it switches it. But mine is right. It's on the outside, so that's what I want. And I'm going to hit enter. So there we go. We're pretty much halfway done at this point. So once we have this, we're just going to click on the inside and we want to extrude it. So for me, it's a hotkey of E, but if you don't have your hotkey set up, Let's try to figure out where extrude is. I think if we hit finish sketch, it'll pop up. Modify. And I mean, it's it's this. No, it's not. Let's press and pull. Here we go. It's right over here. Extrude. So if we click on that, I like to raise it four millimeters. So I'm just going to hit four. Enter. And here's our base, right? This is the coaster, essentially. But what you might notice is our little perimeter that we created is gone, that ring. And we're going to want that. So what we have to do is go to sketches and hit on this to bring it back. So there it is. Now we're going to hit this, do the same thing, go up here, hit extrude. Or if you have a hotkey, you just hit E. And we're going to make this six millimeters. Hit enter. There we go. Now it's starting to form. If we want, we could, uh, could hide our sketch. And you can see this is a blank coaster now. But we want to have the lettering inside or maybe some kind of design, whatever that design might be. For the purposes of keeping this video short and simple, and then you can really mess around with everything yourself, we're just going to do the text. So we're going to want to create a new sketch, hit this plane, and we are going to want to select the text. I set my text to a hotkey of T, T for text, which makes sense for me. But we'll just hit from there. Here's a little arrow. Go ahead and hit wherever. And what I like to do, uh, depending on how long you want it, if you want maybe a full name or whatever it might be, you'll have to adjust the sizes. But my last name is only seven letters, so one inch works for me. So I'm going to type in one I N. Don't hit enter because once you type in one I N, you go over here. And then type in what you want. 
So Frizzled. Now, as you can see, this is up, fly down, off to the left, and off the coaster. That is not what we want, obviously. Before I fix that, I'm just going to hit bold. And I really like Georgia as a font. So I am going to go down to Georgia. And there we go. Now, how do we fix this? It's very simple. This little circle spins it around. So spin it around to 180 degrees. And before you hit enter, see if you hover over the little um, circle in the center, the little hand appears, I could move it around. Now you can get really professional adding construction lines. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And right about there seems like that's pretty much the middle. And I want it up a little because I want to add text underneath. So right there seems good. There's a, like about a square and a half on that side and a square and a half on that side. So that looks good to me. So now I'm going to hit enter and that's good. We're going to go up to our text tool again, or if you have a hot key, just hit that. We're going to go right below it. And now I'm going to do eight millimeters. So if this is an inch, I want the text below to be about eight millimeters. So I don't need to type in MM because I have everything formatted into millimeters. So I just type in eight. I do not hit enter, but now I got a text. Sayville, comma, New York. And I am going to bold it. And let's flip it around. I'm actually going to keep this text, um, this. I'm not going to change it to Georgia. And center this. Again, you can put in all your construction lines and do all your fancy work like that. I'm just going to eyeball it. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. The text is on there, but I mean, it's it's not engraved, um, if that's what you want to call it. So how do we change it to that? Well, that is very simple. All we have to do is, let's go back to our top. Uh, let's make it, there we go. Click on your top lettering or whatever design you have, hit shift, and then click on the other one so you can select both at once. We're going to go back to the extrude tool. So you can either hit E for extrude, or we can just go right here and click on it. And now we're going to want to negate it. So we want to engrave it. So obviously we don't want it to pop up because then our glass or whatever's sitting on top, our cup, will be wobbly. So the last thing we want to do is extrude it up, right? We don't want that. So instead, we're going to extrude it down. So we're going to hit negative 1.5. So one and a half millimeters, you don't want to go too far, right? Because we only are working with four millimeters, but one and a half millimeters, we're going to hit enter. And there it is. So simple to make so quick and easy. It's really cool if you're a business, if you want to sell this on Etsy or, you know, Facebook, Marketplace, wherever, um, depending on what you want to do, uh, we, we can save it, right? So you want to save it, I'll save it as Frizzled Coaster, spell Coaster right, I think that's right, and, you know, save it to wherever, I'm just going to save it to uh, Admin Prod. Uh, projects hit save and what you want to do is go to export you want to export it as whatever you want because I have a 3d printer I want to export it to an object hit export it will export then I can put it into whatever slicer I want I use Cura and then I'll be able to save that as a g-code plug it into my 3D printer and I am good to go. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button. Comment if you have any questions or if you need help, if anything's not working. And if you want to see any other videos, I mean, I'm still learning Autodesk uh, myself, but you know, I think I'm uh, understanding the basics. Let me know what you want to see and I'll, uh, I'll produce some kind of content for it. you. All right. Thanks for watching.